If you happen to drive by the SUNY Plattsburgh campus today, you may have seen a lot of law enforcement, but uh, they weren't there for any emergency going on there. No, they were not. They were there to teach students how to respond in an emergency situation. NBC5's Benny Nazai has more. Police officers, firefighters, and other first responders gathered at the campus to demonstrate how to respond to emergencies. So one thing that we see... SUNY Plattsburgh junior Charles Marcheski has been racing vehicles as a hobby for more than a decade. But learning about the dangers of driving while impaired gives him a new perspective of the road. It was awfully difficult to judge, like, the exact distances of where the cone, like the slalom for the cones were. And I generally advise to avoid doing that. That demonstration, one of several safety related lessons taking place on campus Wednesday. The event part of National Preparedness and Campus Safety Month featured a wide range of emergency drills. Everything from how to put out a fire to lessons in performing CPR. The director for the university's emergency management says these sessions are an important way to teach students how to respond during a crisis. Instead of being panicked when something occurs, uh, you actually uh, have more uh, informed decision to, to respond to that situation. A SUNY Plattsburgh criminal justice professor also taking part of the sessions says it's important for his students to know these critical steps before they uh, find the jobs, before they are on, on the streets and their professions, uh, it's a good experience for them to do that. That's why I brought my class today here. A lesson in safety that Charles Marcheski and his classmates can use on and off campus. Have a backup plan if need be, have like a Uber or some taxi system of some sorts. Even with the training, first responders say the first thing to do in a serious emergency is to call 911. In Plattsburgh, Benny Nazai, NBC5 News.